Welcome back guys. In this tutorial, we're going to cover the concept of an if else condition statement in NiFi. How can that be achieved? And this is a very common use case when you have a lot of attributes that you want to evaluate them against something. So for this example, we're going to use this particular flow where we instantiated an attribute called attribute key. And we're going to walk it through some if else statement. What is if else statement? Well, in NIFI, if, if else can be used to evaluate condition and return one or two values depending on whatever the condition is true or false. So the if else statement will be working, uh, I would say, or it will be linked to a function that will return you a true or a false. It has to be linked to a Boolean expression. So let's go see how we can do that. Basically, you remember we had this attribute key and we instantiate with a value red. Now let's go and write the if else. So let's say create a new property, call it it's red, and call this particular attribute and try to evaluate it. So let's say attribute key equals red. In this case, this uh, expression language um, will return us a value of true because equals return a value of true or false. Now that we have a return uh, of type boolean, let's link it to if else. So if else, and if else has two position. First position when it matches or it says true. And in our case, if key at, if attribute key equals red, then return to me uppercase red else let's say not red great now let's run this and observe what happens we have a successful flow and let's look at the attributes so the attribute key red we have a new attribute called indeed it is red but what about if it's not red or let's say we want to evaluate it against multiple if else statements how can we achieve that and that's where i would say expression language becomes a bit confusing so let's go ahead and say the following. Let's change the value of the initial attribute key and let's make it green. Great. Now let's go back and enrich our update attribute. Go back to the property, open the definition key. And here in the if else statement, what we want to do, we want to add in the second case where the attribute does not equals our first condition so basically if you equal red then give me red if you're not equaling red you can either return the exact same value or you return me red so let's see how that behaves so in order for us to achieve that we can say with underscore key right so we're telling him okay if you think about this if you you're not finding the color red or let's say the attribute called red and the return will not be uppercase red then return to me current attribute key value let's run this one and let's see what see what happens so if you see right now he evaluated the attribute that is now instantiated with the value green and he return us the initial attribute value but how can we also add an if else condition statement if it's green and it will return us a new value? So let's go back to our attribute, update attribute, and let's change the definition of this. And let's chain a couple of more if else statements. So what we're going to do now, we're going to again evaluate against. So whenever we have a false and red is not up, is not when the attribute key, it's not has a value of red and this is returned. Then we're going to evaluate an, against another if else statement. So in this case, we're going to do the same. If this one equals green, which it does, we're going to link it to another if else statement. If else, open close, round bracket, let's give it a value of green upper. Else, let's say not green, just for this uh, to demonstrate the use case, right? Great. Let's save and run it. Let's evaluate the outcome of it. And if you see now, obviously the naming of the property, it should be changed, but it says it's green because he evaluated the incoming attribute key as being green and then he marked it with the right outcome. Let's go ahead now and change this and say, this is a green dot. Let's make him fail. Let's see what happens. Let's run it once. Look at the attribute. And you can see now he's listening to the false value condition if it's not green if it's not 
red if it's not green then the outcome is not green let's go ahead and as a, as a final example let's add a new condition to it before we do this let's properly parse this i like to basically separate them oh sorry and add each if else evaluation in a new column it's easy to read so now if we want to add a new if else we have to replace the last evaluation basically if it's not green if it's not red then we have to move on to the next one so what we're going to do basically you're going to copy the same evaluation from here actually let's write it if this condition is not true let's add a new condition that he will need to look for and let's say this f attribute key equals and let's choose another color let's say black equals black then what are you going to return me so we're going to add again if else you know we're going to say black with uppercase black so if the incoming color or let's say if the incoming attribute key value is black you will return us black else return me the attribute value whatever it's contained whatever the, the attribute contains you know if the if all of the three validations do not contain that value so if it's not red if it's not green if it's not black then return me the actual attribute key value all right let's say it let's run it once run this particular this one should return us the value green dot because you remember none of those values match our if else statement so that is correct it return us green dot let's go ahead and change this value to black so we can match finally fill st statement let's run it once let's go in evaluate this and you can see that was excess success black we have an attribute key black and then it's red black what about if we go back to and we change it to red right this should return us an uppercase red and that's what it does all right so this is how we would apply multiple if else blocks while we're doing an expression language uh, update attribute i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and i'll follow up with more let's say complex expression language tutorials um i'll put all the them i'll put a template in the link description uh, you can also find it on my GitHub repository. There's a bunch of resources there um, that I'm sharing with you guys about NiFi. And if you have questions, drop us a comment or you can even join our Discord channel server. Uh, you will find all the links in the description. All right. Until next time, I see you guys.